Good evening. Uh, the second uh, racing day at the qualifying GP has uh, finished already. It was a very short task and very fast task due to meteo uh, forecast uh, announcing some rains in the late afternoon. Here with me are winner of the day Gil Navas. Navas? Yes. Gil Navas and Giorgio Galetto. Pronuncio Ga correttamente? Galetto. Galetto. Okay, Galetto. <laughs> Giorgio Galetto. And um, I, I was asking before uh, to Gil if uh, the task was too short. I asked him uh, if he looked around uh, for an other areas where I could have set the task. Ah, it's difficult to reply. Yes, it was slightly too short, but if you consider the two previous days, the short, the tasks were too long, too long. So um, today we can say it was uh, the right distance. Uh, and what uh, do you think? The same. As you can see, the sky is uh, cold, uh, cold and overcast and uh, some rain to the west is coming. So it was okay. good. But do you have time during flight to look around? For what else? Or it's such a short task, and you're only concentrated on the result. No, we are. No, it's we are not concentrated uh, particularly on the results. Uh, we are just looking to the best um, path we have to take to achieve the flight, and just to to. There was cumulus clouds today, so it was more easy than the previous days, where there was nothing, just cirrus clouds. Uh, I prefer to have cumulus clouds. And uh, uh, after the, the start, uh, I catch a quite good thermal, but uh, climbing, suddenly I, I was afraid because the Alix uh, made many announcements with a warning, uh, airspace. airspace warning. And, and I have a, a, a doubt, and I left the thermal before, uh, before uh, maximum. Uh, maximum high, I think, was uh, 1,670. But I wasn't sure since I have this warning on the Alix. The warning f was from another airspace more to the south. So uh, I get outside the three meters and, 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 and with a strange feeling, maybe I hit the, the airspace and I was in a hurry for more than uh, half the task. And suddenly I realized, oh, but maybe it was a warning for, for another airspace I haven't hit. So uh, it was more, more easy after. <laughs> oh. It was a very big stress uh, because, uh, you know, the area south of Locarno, the limit of the airspace, this is the boundary. And uh, when you circle and you climb, you have warning in uh, every direction. I see. There are two. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I know that. And... What do you think? Is it, uh, does, it have, uh, um, does it have a strong uh, sporting value, uh, the GP, even in, in such a short task? Yes, it's uh, like to... Uh, <laughs> it's a game, really a game. Yeah. If you make a small mistake, you are dead. Zero point. You, yeah. you, can, you don't have any time to recover a small mistake. And I, today I took a risk because I was very low near Erba, very, very low, 600 or 700 meters. I <laughs> didn't saw the altimeter, <laughs> I was too low. And then I, I climbed quite good at the end, so I decided to stay high, because uh, under 1,000 meters, the conditions are not so strong, not so, so good. And then it uh, was nice trying to catch Gilles, because he was flying 300 meters higher than me, <laughs> Up to the end, but it was impossible. <laughs> you, you two have been flying together in many occasions, isn't it? Yes, since maybe 40 years. <laughs> the first time. Yes, yes, yes. 40 years. Yes. So long time friends. Yeah, yeah so it's no problem. <laughs> we, we flew together many uh, world championships in 15 meters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, great, oh, great, oh, great. So, friends, meeting again at the Grand Prix in Varese. Grazie, ciao.